Hey guys, welcome back. I'm David and we're here in my shop where I build E-War guitars. And this is gonna be uh, uh, episode number 16 of the Great Guitar Giveaway, where I've been building these two semi-hollow body guitars. And when we're all done, which is only gonna be two more videos, I got this one, which should be airing March 18th, and then I'm gonna have one more on the 25th. And on the 25th, I'm gonna draw the winner's name out of my hat, and they're gonna get this guitar right here, or that one, I'll let them pick the color of their choice. Anyway, uh, that's where we're at right now. Um, if you'd like to join into this contest, you should, you should do it, because I've only got about 380 names so far in, and the odds are very good. I mean, if it was the lottery, right, there'd be, the odds would be much worse than it is here. So you still got a great chance of uh, winning one of these guitars. And if you want to enter the uh, contest, check this link above and find out how to do it. Very simple. Um, but I need your uh, entry by, let's say, the end of March 21st, because I'm going to need a couple days to, uh, you know, to do the drawing and all that kind of stuff and get it ready for the 25th. But anyway, check out the link there, and then come on back, because we're going to begin the final assembly of these two guitars right here. All right, so we're all buffed up. We're all cleaned up and ready to go. Um, in this video, I'm going to begin the final assembly process. First of all, I'm going to have to uh, do some cleaning up on these fret boards, get some of the uh, urethane that uh, got on the edges and everything. I got it taped off and I'm clean those up. I'm going to uh, mask the fret board off then and finish polishing, sanding and polishing the uh, frets and do that. I got some great tuners. Look at these awesome tuners. Aren't they great? Those are uh, hip shot uh, open gear locking tuners. I got those going on these guitars. I've got uh, Goto string through bridge, really nice bridges. I've had great, uh, great success with those. They've been very good for me. Um, I've got, uh, look at this, I've got some push pull pots. I'm gonna use push pull pots and I'm gonna wire these both to play in series and in parallel. Uh, that was a suggestion from one of, the, uh, one of the subscribers and I thought that was a great idea. Got these great little, uh, they're black aluminum, uh, anodized aluminum, uh, um, Control knobs. I got this cool looking little blue rubber thing on the side. They're knurled. They're going to be great too. I got my pickups all wound. They're all wound and set to go. I'm going to use a CRL five way blade switch. I think it's going to be really cool. Anyway, so I'm going to set up over there and I'm going to get going uh, on these fretboards first uh, and get going with that. Anyway, stick around. So, this is a great little trick I learned from uh, Chris Monk. I watch him, he's in Highline Guitars on YouTube, he's a very good teacher. I've learned a, I learned a lot from him. And this is a pretty cool little trick for masking off a fretboard that doesn't take too long. And it gives you a really nice, clean masking job. And this, this is how I do it. So I'm gonna lay out a couple pieces of tape here. Kind of overlap them a little bit. Just about like that. Okay. Now, I take my calipers and I come up here and I just set those and I got the two sharp points there. Just come down to the end and I poke them in. Then I take my square of course, this tape's lined up right on the edge of the piece of plywood I'm sitting on. Knife it there. Knife it there. Pull up this little piece of tape and whammo. Fits in there really super nice. I run that blue tape on the sides first, so when I go to peel this all off in the end, I can just pull on that blue tape and for the most part it will pull all this off. Now the next step be to hit these corners. As 
my little Stumac file. It's got the safety edge on it. I also like to, uh, now though I leveled these frets way back when, I just like making absolutely sure nothing is moved. So I'm gonna go through and check them. And in case maybe I didn't do as good as I should have before, I really like to go through and check them one last time. And so far they're looking pretty good. So I've sanded this with 400 grit, uh, 600, 800, 1,000, and 1,200. And I'm just going along and I'm finishing up a little steel wool. I think they're looking pretty good. I've used my Dremel tool before with a little polishing wheel on it, but I don't know, I think this gets it nice. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this down with a little bit of naphtha, just to clean out the clean out the pores really good. I like to go around and clean out all these holes. But before I do that, I cut the, I cut through the, uh, the finish because I don't want to grab the finish with the drill bit while I'm cleaning the holes and tear it off the face. So I try to be very careful. with my chamfer bit.
Well, folks, thanks for watching. Well, here we are. We're getting awfully close now. Got this one all together. Got the strings in it. Got the blue one right over there on the bench getting worked on now. And uh, we're getting so close. If, uh, if all goes as planned, I want to have this drawing on March 25th. That's 2021, in case you're watching this at some other time. But anyway, we're real close. Next video, we're going to be doing the uh, electronics in this thing, doing a setup on it, and, uh, and doing the drawing. So one of you guys is going to win a guitar. So uh, the link, I'll put it right up here for you. For those of you that haven't signed up yet, it'll tell you how to do it. It's super duper easy. Anyway, uh, come back on the 25th and check it out. Got my fingers crossed I get it all done by then. Anyway, thanks for watching and come on back.